are just like pff, about to pop off. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today's video we're going to be talking about nudes. Yes, that's right. It's gonna be hot and it's gonna be candente. So today's video is going to be about nudes. I am going to be sharing with you girls my top nude lipsticks and lip glosses that I love. You guys know me. I love nude, a nude lip. It's like my go-to. I feel confident on my on nude. I think it's 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 sexy. I think it it's just it makes you look kissable. And I don't know. That's just that's just me. I think that's 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 that 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 that. that. Why do I keep stuttering? <laughs> anyway, it's perfect. And uh, um, they go with anything, any type of look. If you want to do a smoky eye, it looks perfect. If you want to do no makeup on your eyes, it looks perfect. I just think you can never go wrong with a new lipstick. So I have quite a few that I want to share with you guys. And I will probably do like two lip combos that I've been digging that I use my nude colors. But I don't want to really jump into a lot because I really don't want to make this video really, really long. Because I have to edit. I'm going to start with a drugstore because I have a three drugstores and then I have the other ones that are kind of high end but they're still worth it. They're worth every single penny. So the three uh, drugstore ones are Maybelline and go figure. I, I obsess over their over their um, lipsticks. With For me when it comes to a nude lip, I'm very, very, very picky. I like my lipsticks to be matte. Matte nude colors that's just how I do so the first three colors and these are from their matte collection and I think this is from their nudes collection I only was able to grab one and after that I just never went back to Walgreens so the first one we're gonna talk about is their nude, nude collection I don't know if these are limited edition they no longer have them but usually Maybelline comes back with them or pretty much leaves them in like a forever collection but I'm pretty sure you can still find these at Walgreens or anything like that this is the one from when they came with the nudes and it's I'm going to do swatches so you guys can see this is a uh, number 920 and it's called nude lust nude lust it is very very light it's a beautiful nude I love it it's matte and love the color payoff I love the fact that Maybelline gives you such an amazing color payoff and they are not long lasting but for some reason that color payoff tends to just stay on your lips like for the whole entire day sometimes I have them on and I eat and whatever but when I look at myself in the mirror I sort of look like I still have some some sort of tint on my lips because of the lipstick so I love it that one is I love it it's really light and it's really the lightest, uh, the nude color, I usually use it as a base to put like another nude deeper color on top. So when you see me showing you like a light nude, it's because mostly I don't, what I do is I put a darker nude on top. So the other two I've been obsessing with and mostly are just like, I love it because you can just grab it, go out the door and you know you're going to look fine because it's a nude color. The first one is, this is from their matte collection and I have 650 and 655. 650 is more like a brownish tone as you can see I'm almost running away running away eee! I'm running out of it and I don't know if they still have them but I will cry if they don't this is colored nude embrace right embrace nude embrace and it's a beautiful uh, nice light nude color and I love this one for like on top of my jar cosmetics 1995 which gives me then a sort of like a nude lip color type of thing then the other one is 655 and this one is darling nude. this is like a beautiful uh, mauve this is more like a mauve color I think this one has more like a more pinkish undertone because it's more like on that um, dirt type thing like that 1995 that bargain dish color kind of has like that undertone to it it's not sort of like a straight out straight out nude like that it sort of has some sort of tint to it it's the 655 and if you actually see them I'm gonna show you right now if you see them together like the color and you see the colors are actually this was more like a light nude and then this one is already turning into sort of like a brick type of type of color that's what I mean so the uh, these three are like my top favorite ones so right now the other three are from MAC I think MAC has amazing 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 nude colors 
Um, I know that Kat Von D has Lolita. I know you are probably gonna kill me and you're gonna be like, Francis, what are you doing? You're showing two limited edition ones that they no longer exist. I know, I'm sorry, but I know that I can, I know, and I will show you two dupes for these two. I have two amazing dupes for it, and they're just pretty much the same thing, and they are drugstore, and they still sell them. So the first from MAC, it's a Velvet Teddy, of course. You guys heard me talk about it. And it's that beautiful brown color. It's just so cute, and it's just, I don't know what I will do without my Velvet Teddy. Like, I do. I actually do. I love my lipstick. Anybody talk to their lipstick? No? Just me? <sighs> Alright, let's move on. Then the other two are, yes, limited edition. This was the Kelly Osborne collection, and then this was the Enchant, um, this was the Alluring Aquatic collection from MAC, and I'm so glad I got my hands on this one. As you guys can see, I no, it was limited edition, and I just went on, I just went to town on this baby. And you guys can see, I only have just a little tiny bit left, and I was just like, oh. But then I came across Velvet Teddy, and I tell you, ladies, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Velvet Teddy and Enchanted are pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna do a comparison next to each other. They are pretty much the same thing. This was the Enchanted one, and I am so sad that I just did not behave with it so then this is the Kelly Osborne now this one is the what's it called this is strip poker this is sort of this is a beautiful very light close to skin tone it's close to flesh tone actually it's more like a flesh tone this is the one I have right now underneath and then on top I have velvet teddy and then I have my favorite nude lip gloss on top and pretty much like I said when you have a very light nude it, it's awesome to sort of like just kind of like downsize a little bit of the intensity of the other color so if you want to make it more nude and more fleshy tone type of sort of look then look for a very light color that kind of close to your um, skin tone this one is very very close to my skin tone and I'm going to show you the dupe for it right now and I'm pretty sure that these two are pretty much the same thing this is Ramel Kate Moss you find it in the drawer and this is the Ramel Kate Moss and this is the strip poker and I'm going to do a side by side comparison so you guys can see. As you can see, just a little bit difference. But, so then the other one is high end and they still sell them, they still have them around. It's the Too Faced Melted Liquid 5 Longwear Lipsticks and this is in color Melted Nude. I was rocking this last year when it came out and I still love it. I don't wear as often because I, I try to just reach out for my Maybellines just because they're so cheap and if I run out of them I can go get them. These are like really expensive and if I run out of it, I don't think I'll buy them again but it's still a beautiful nude color for your lips. So the next ones that I want to share with you guys are pretty much uh, lip glosses that I have and that I pair them I pair them off with the lipstick every now and then. Sometimes I just uh, wear it naturally and just, just wear the lip gloss without wearing any lipsticks but most of the time I'm not sure wearing lipsticks and then I'm wearing the gloss. But you will not see me with gloss because I'm more like I told you a, a matte finish girl. I mean, I love my matte lips. Like that's it. So these are the lip gloss that I have that I picked out and I really want to share with you guys because they are actually my top favorite ones. This is from Jura Cosmetics and this one is called Shimmer of Hope. It's not, as you can see, it's not a very nude nude color like you would say. It still gives you that sort of nude payoff and it's so beautiful, so subtle in your lips. And it definitely looks, looks so, your lips look so luscious and they look natural. They have sort of like a natural look to your lips. And when I wear Shimmer of Hope, I don't wear anything under because it kind of brings out my natural fleshy skin um, lip color, if you would say. But sometimes I sort of put like a little bit of um, lip concealer or just pretty much what I have left on my concealer brush I just pat it on my lips to kill any redness on my lips and then I apply anything on top and then the other one is this Rimmel this one is actually just brand new it came out this uh, collection and this is the 16 hour Provoca lips 16 hours kiss proof lip color and um, it's in called skinny dipping <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about nude and my color of lip gloss is getting dipping. <laughs> Any ideas? No, don't think so. Last but not least, least 
is my favorite gloss. I can pair this gloss with anything and it does not take away from the color. Sometimes you put on a lip gloss and it kind of takes away, kind of hides your lipstick. You're like, fudge, I want the, the color to actually just, and I said fudge, chocolate fudge, okay? Alright, some people are thinking like, <gasps> did she just curse? No, I didn't, I said fudge. Shouldn't have said it, right? Suck <laughs> Anyways, and it just, sometimes you wear a lip gloss and you're just like, happened to my color where did it go it just kind of washed it off or just kind of like hidden but my go-to lip gloss is from H&M this is my baby I love the fact that it's so big and has so much product that I bought it like about a year and a half ago and I still have so much left and it's a gloss that it doesn't feel sticky icky on your lips and you can definitely go go and make out with your spouse or your boyfriend and it's not gonna feel like you're just stuck together because it is definitely very 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 like I would say natural you know sometimes when you just lick your lips and your lips feel like shiny and they feel like more hydrated moisturized that's pretty much what this is it's just pretty much a little bit of gloss on it it's not sticky whatsoever it's not a gooey finish i absolutely love it and the fact that it just kind of um complements the lipstick that you're wearing just kind of brings attention to your lips with just a little with just the perfect amount of gloss it's just a so freaking flattering and i love it and actually this is uh, i don't think i don't even think it has a color it's pretty much a nude, a nudie color like this is sort of like a pinkish I would say color and it doesn't have shimmer whatsoever so that's what I love I don't like my lips gloss to have like a shimmer or like a finish to it I just want gloss just 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 give me gloss and so my lips can look all plummy and they can look kissable and yummable so I absolutely love this girls this was like five bucks and look at all the product it brings I am dying with this thing i love 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 and i will go back to h&m and get like three more models just in case they decide not to make them again but i absolutely love it my trick to get that perfect nude color on my lips and always always make sure that I, that lipstick call, payoff is actually there it's not being hidden by the color of my lips i use this amazing cosmetic i ama the amazing concealer ladies i had to tell you i'm doing a full review on this baby right here i love love this concealer this concealer is conceal you prime you you you, you use for highlighting you use for so many things and honestly when i came across this concealer i used to use a regular concealer and but when i came across this one it actually just primes my lips like bam like like it grabs on the color when I wear the lipstick and it just looks perfect. So if you have any co any concealer, you can use any concealer in your lips. But I love that. I love concealing my lips first and just um, removing any other natural color so I can apply my nude colors and they actually do look nude. So um, that is it. Those are the colors that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, ba 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 boom. I don't think I have any L things. Oh, what is wrong with me? I woke up so early. I just want to sleep. Not happening. <laughs> you gotta record, you have kids, you gotta clean the house. Woo gotta go to go grocery shopping. I don't think I have anything else to share with you just besides that. I wanna know what are your nude colors? What are your favorite nude um, combinations you use? What is it, the colors that you constantly grab and you buy in? Let me know, because I know there's like, Kat Bundy has amazing ones. Um, I know NARS has amazing ones too. There's a whole bunch of other lines out there that have amazing uh, lipsticks. But let me know which are your favorite nude colors. And if they're matte, even better because I love matte lipsticks. Just leave me your favorite uh, nude lipsticks down below and your color combinations I want to see. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your love. I wish I could hug you and squeeze you all because you guys make my day. You guys make me excited every time I see that you guys are constantly following me and seeing my, my videos, subscribing to my channel commenting i'm just so grateful for you guys you guys don't even know i know we're gonna have the opportunity once to meet and hug and kiss and chit chat and just do each other's makeup <laughs> thank you so much for sticking to the end be less precious pearls i'll see you in my next video bye